What's up, guys? Lace about here. Welcome to the Diablo 4 Research Institution. Like this video if you will, subscribe to the page, and swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So I'm curious what you guys have to say in the comment section. The things that you would like to see added to Diablo 4. Let me know your thoughts, because I constructed a little list here, right? But before I start reading it off, one thing that actually came to mind, I was just running a rift. Or a pit, rather. And I know before I spoke against this, but I'm starting to wonder, maybe we need a DPS counter. Because then you could actually know over time what your damage looks like. Um, as opposed to just guessing. You know what I mean? Like, if you switch your gear out, you prioritize increased attack speed over critical strike chance or critical strike damage. Compare those things to vulnerable damage. Compare those things to even overpower damage, which I think is complete ass right now, isn't it? For most characters, the overpower thing. But nonetheless, if we had a DPS counter, we could just see overall what we're doing, you know? So we could run the pit with one build, switch out a piece of gear, run it again, just do several takes, and then we'll kind of have a rough idea as to whether or not our character has improved or not. So I guess I would say a DPS counter would be quite nice, which is, I guess, the first thing on the list uh, in no particular order. Number two, and I'm curious what you guys have to say about this, loadouts. Now, I know it's kind of a controversial thing because on one hand, the loadout concept would kind of force us to always switch up our build, just go to the stash or the wardrobe or wherever, and depending on what we're doing, we'd have to select a different build, which I think would be kind of annoying. But on the other hand, if you want to be optimal, that's kind of what you have to do anyway, only you'll have to do it all manually, so it's a real pain in the ass. So I'm wondering if loadouts would actually be a good idea. And of course, loadouts were in Diablo 3, and I thought it was pretty convenient. You know, you could test out Talrasha's build, then you could test out Veer's build, or however you say it. Then you could test out uh, just some legendary build or whatever. So maybe loadouts is something that we need. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys have to say about that, but perhaps it should cost a bunch of gold to load out, so you're not just doing it whenever you just feel like it without any consequence whatsoever. Uh, there maybe should be some payment involved, so maybe it should be gold. Like, you know how it costs gold to respec. Maybe it should uh, require gold to enter your other loadout or something. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Uh, and what do you do after 100, you know? Like, I've actually been having a pretty good time to 100 uh, or through 100 after 100, even though I don't really like the idea of just how easy it is to get to 100. Like in Diablo 2, for example, you never really got to 99. Some people got to 99. I've been playing the game for 25 freaking years. Yeah, I'm a boomer. But I never got to 99. The highest I've ever gotten, I think, was like 93 or 94. But with that being said, it wasn't a crazy power creep from 94 to 100, let's say. Like, you could still PvP against the level 99s in Diablo 2, which was the max level there. And you could still do okay, depending on your build. It, it wasn't a crazy power creep. It was just kind of a uh, crown of achievement to get to 99. And it's, I think, just a little unfortunate that they didn't allow that in Diablo 4. Where just basically everybody gets to 100 and that's that. Uh, so I wouldn't have mind the other route. But with that being said, if this is how it's going to be, if we're just all going to be 100, you know, with like playing for a day or something, what should be next? Now, I don't think we should do the Paragon like what we have in Diablo 3, because then it's just little by little you get more and more powerful, and eventually, you know, the ones who are maxed out Paragon are a hell of a lot more powerful than the ones who are just beginning their Paragon. I don't know if that's a good way to go. But another option, oh, and then you're going to be chasing experience. Uh, which is means you're going to probably do the top greater rifts as much as you can, which is going to force us all into one build. So I don't really like that either, rewarding those who do just the pinnacle of the greater rifts, because then we're all just going to be running the same damn build, and it's going to be Diablo 3 all over again. And if you want Diablo 3, you should play Diablo 3. But this is a different Diablo. This is Diablo 4. So I, I, in case you didn't know that, and, I, and I've been kind of enjoying uh, where it's going so far, with how you can collect the best materials at 61, and then from there, you can start experimenting with your build. Granted, you'll collect more materials the higher you go, but it's not a crazy power creep, you know what I mean? If you're just doing pits 61 versus doing pits like 100 or 150 or whatever. With that being said, 
what if they were to have like another little belt here of experience only instead of uh, experience to level or increase your power level it'd just be a nice little cache that you get at the end uh, there'd maybe be crafting materials in it there'd maybe be legendaries in it potentially maybe uniques I don't know uh, nothing crazy powerful maybe something similar to what you get from the tree of whispers honestly uh, I don't think it should be all that powerful because if it is then we're all just going to be chasing the tippy tippy top of the pit and like I said the problem with that is we're all going to be run the same damn build then so I'd rather not have that uh, in a game like this that's just kind of how it ends up being but what if they were to have a cache that you could just continually level up and get so at least you'd be re rewarded some bit the longer you play you know what I mean I don't think it's a perfect solution, but I, I'm not really against it without thinking about it too much. But what do you guys have to say about that? Uh, another thing I think would be nice would be to have little pets that you could get. Like, I thought it was cool in Diablo 3 how the demon hunter had, like, the little ferrets that followed her around, right? And the ferrets would pick up the gold. I think they're cute little things. So what if you could get pets uh, that pick up your gold and pick up crafting materials? Then you're just kind of clicking on less shit, and I think it's kind of convenient. Oh, look at this one. How do you inspect them? Inspect, okay. What is this? Look at that. You gotta be kidding me. Look at that outfit. What transmog is that? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna take a photo of this. I kind of like that. Transmog. Where are the pants? Yeah, I don't know. She has flowers and shit on her head? Yeah, okay, nonetheless. I just kind of like that. Hmm. I should have gotten that build. What build are they running? But, okay. Straying off topic here, so let's get back to the video. I just kind of like that visual. I think the visual is kind of cool. Here's my character, by the way. I think she looks alright. But... Okay. Another thing that uh, should maybe be added to Diablo 4. Should the world boss be level 200? What do you guys have to say about that in the comments? Because I know Diablo 2 is a great game, right? We all love Diablo 2. Those who played it anyway. And of course, the end game in Diablo 2, you're just kind of doing battle runs and you beat the shit out of him. You know, as soon as he spawns, he's dead basically, and then you just do it over and over again. And apparently that didn't get old for 25 years because uh, when you have like kind of the cap for difficulty, like I said, it allows for more experimentation and builds and all that. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Or it's not a bad thing at all. But should uh, the world bosses in Diablo 4 be level 200? Let me know what you guys think about that. It just, and maybe drop a little bit more shit, you know? Uh, maybe the boss in the Legion should be level 200. I don't know. I don't really do Legion anymore. I don't really see the point in it. It's kind of annoying. You have to just wait for their little animations. Then you kill them. And you have to wait for their animations. Then you kill them. And it's just, there's nothing in particular that you can farm from the Legion, to my understanding. It seems like I'm getting all that stuff elsewhere anyway. So, but should world bosses be 200? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, another thing. Free-for-all PvP area. Uh, something different from what we get with the whole seeds thing and kind of uh, opting in if you want to do PvP outside of doing the seeds thing. What if just they had one town in this game, right? Just one town and like outside of it there was like a section that was just like an arena where it was just totally free-for-all. Uh, kind of like uh, what you get in Diablo 2 outside of town. Only just everyone's hostile out there and you could have guys like just camping at the doors and stuff or camping at the gates, you know. And it, I think it would just be kind of chaotic, but I think it would be fun. Uh, so why the hell wouldn't they do that, you know. Just just have a free-for-all PvP area outside of a town. I think that would be cool. Uh, stay tuned for more videos because these things aren't really all that impactful. There's other things that I'd like to see in the game that I think might be more impactful, but these are just little things. Hordes of Treasure Goblins, but apparently we might be getting that soon. You know how there's a D-Clone uh, random event? in Diablo 2, where you'd be out in the open world and sometimes you'd see D-Clone from the selling of SOJs and this and that. What if they had something like that in this game? And maybe it could even be a Diablo clone. That would be cool, right? To have Diablo in a Diablo game, because right now that's not really the case. And it would also make uh, open world something that you'd want to chase, you know? Because right now the open world is just really boring. There's nothing exciting that ever happens out in the open world. Uh, before this idea, I thought, well, maybe big swarms of treasure goblins should be scattered throughout the open world, so then it'd at least give you some reason to ride your horse around and look for things. But yeah, what if they had a Diablo clone? Wouldn't that be cool? And also charms and all that maybe should be added to this game. I don't know. And I don't have it on my list, but with charms. What about runes? 
The problem right now is there's no big fun item to chase, you know, that like is really hard to find. Like with Diablo 2, I'd play an entire season without making all the rune words. You know, I'd want Enigma, Infinity, and Phoenix on like my uh, Javazon, for example. And uh, in this mod, there's just none of that. In Diablo 4, there's just none of that. There's no chasing of those super engaging items. Maybe I, I saw one build wearing Tyrael's Might, right? But Tyrael's Might is just complete ass in this game right now. So I wouldn't mind seeing some of these super uniques enhanced, uh, make them a little bit more worthy. Now, I do have this Razor Plate, which is quite nice. Two greater effixes on there. Uh, 8 out of 12, I'm probably going to max it out soon. I only maxed out one item so far, it's so my size. But there's just, it doesn't feel like there's anything really to chase that's like a, could be like a big thing, you know? Like, there's little things to chase, just bumping up your items a little bit. But why can't there be, like, Vex Zod runes and shit like that? Maybe uh, your armors and stuff could have a separate sockets for runes, and then you could, like, augment them. And have them do fun things. Don't have them do just, you do X amount more damage, you know, just boring shit like that. Like, your numbers are going to be a little bit bigger when you do this. Have them do cool things, like your skeletons have an aura on them now that those like holy shock or something or you can have three more mages out at once you know something like that with rune words uh similarly to what they did with uh diablo 2 but let me know what you guys think about that should there be other items to chase that are super rare um that just have a really hard way of dropping throughout the game you know just kind of give you incentive to just keep playing it's like a like a slot machine thing it's kind of what this game is it's a treasure hunting game you know it's what diablo games are i think they're treasure hunting games so i mean add some more treasure to it you know and uh things that don't just slowly increase our numbers just bit by bit but have a couple big euphoric things that can drop as well like i said like the runes maybe uh, that we can make rune words with who knows uh a couple more things pvp outside of town I already said that but, uh, okay, maybe I got my list done, actually. But what do you guys think about that? What do you want to see added in Diablo 4 uh, to make it uh, a better game? I think that we also need more stash tabs. This is a problem. Uh, this is a big problem right now. Is uh, I am out of room. I have so much shit. And I need to get rid of some of it. I need to go through it. But I think there should be more. Why don't they just sell us some? You know, I'd pay for them if they roll over season to season, especially. I'd buy them. And I'm pretty sure a lot of others would as well. But yeah, I do. Maybe you could say, well, Iceman, you're just disorganized. You're too much of a slob. And yeah, to an extent, that, that's quite true. Uh, and I need, need to be more disciplined. But even with that being said, I think we need more tabs. Uh, maybe a loot filter as well. Uh, so we can filter out all the junk that we don't want to see falling on the ground. But let me know what your comments are on that. Your thoughts. Uh, comment them below. And like this video again, if you will. Subscribe to the page. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace be with you.